peeper, 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 peeper. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, this one is called a liar, and a lie will always be exposed with the passage of time, and also truth will always come to light. It is indisputable. Now, people, what is indisputable is the fact that dancehall artist Tommy Lee Sparta, he has been released, and that has been confirmed by the CCU. We are speaking about a person whose name is Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay, and also the lawyer for Tommy Lee Sparta. Now, people, when I did a couple of videos as it pertains to Tommy Lee Sparta, I got a lot of bashing on social media because you have some people which I've always called the brainwash. And you might ask, what is a brainwash? Well, a brainwash is a set of persons that basically has an agenda and basically have somebody that they listen to that tells them a lot of BS all the time. However, because of the fact that they are gullible, because of the fact that they lack the ability to think for themselves. So anyways, back to the story at hand. So when I did a couple of stories as it pertained to Tommy Lee Sparta, I got a lot of bashing on social media because people was claiming that I am an agent and because I am a part of the gang activity in a Jamaica and I am a part of the person that is supporting violence, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. And people, this is not what persons were saying of their own thinking. That is what they were told. However, I said as it pertained to Tommy Lee Sparta, there is something fundamentally wrong with this case. I don't think that the Popo has any sort of evidence and people so said, so done. Now what are the facts of this case? Tommy Lee Sparta was asked to turn over himself to the Popo at the Freeport Popo station on the 7th of July. People, we are now in on August, August sorry, 18. So people, we are talking about almost a month and a half we are speaking about in excess of six weeks somebody is held because of the state of emergency because of a law that they said they are using to be fight crime and violence and people i have no problem with that point blank and period and i've always stated that i have no problem with that however what i have a problem with is you arresting somebody four and five times and doing the same thing over and over the result is always going to be the same and um, people like them say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results and people we see that this is the same result so therefore it tells you that this is madness now people what are the facts of the case Tommy Lee Sparta has been in the custody of the Popo since July 7th like me say he has done eight interviews in excess of eight interviews according to his lawyer now people when I said that the lawyer said that he had at least six interviews and he had come to the conclusion and based on conversations with the investigators, the Pope or the detective, they told him that Tommy Lee Sparta would have been released because they re really did not have any sort of evidence. Any sort of backing or substantiative evidence to be a scally hold him. So therefore they gave the lawyer the impression that Tommy Lee Sparta is going to be released. And I said so, I stated so in a video that I did. And again, here comes the brainwash and their followers and whatever people tell them that like to just talk and run off them out. But people like me say, me just leave them up to time. And like me say, time basically means all and exactly that is what happened. So anyways, people, like I said, the lawyer said they did at least eight interviews and they keep asking Tommy Lee Sparta the same question. Are you a part of any sort of gang? Are you a gang leader? Are you a gang member? The answer was always no. No, people like me said, don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. Tommy Lee Sparta is no innocent victim. He is no altar boy. He is no saint. He might have dibbled and dabbled. As a matter of fact, I think that he did dibble and dabble at one time. However, he basically grew wiser. However, he realized that he had a talent. However, he left that in his past. 
Now, people, are you going to always be judged by your past, especially when you are a young one, especially when you come from a volatile era, especially when you are desperate? And people, I am not justifying any criminal's action because they are young. Me just I say, when you come from certain background, there is a likely possibility or probability that you might fall victim or fall into the trap or into the web of where speaking about crime and violence. So said, it applies to Tommy Lee Sparta. It applies to a lot of artists, even our favorite hip hop artists. We are talking about the Jay Z. We are speaking about others. They were once D R U G S dealer. However, they have reformed and they are making a better name for themselves. And now we see that they are respected. We are speaking about celebrities in America and globally. So therefore, just as say, everybody have redemption. We should not condemn anybody, especially. You understand our own people, especially a dancehall artist that we know that basically was dibbling and dabbling in some sort of crime. However, he had the talent. However, he is using the talent now to basically make himself a better man. So me just say, give people a chance. Don't condemn people. But people, what I realize why a lot of these dancehall artists are getting a fight, it is because of one set of persons. And we are speaking about that are aligned to a specific dancehall artist and his name is Alkaline. So therefore, whenever it comes to Vibes Cartel or Tamalee Sparta, they are always going to fight. And then them find a house, S-L-A-V-E, that is back in their agenda. So that is why they come together. So that is why you see all these comments in my, in my channel or on my channel that are always talking. So people, now you know what the problem is. Now you know what the agenda is. Now you know what the motive is. Why you see people act the way that they act because two evil forces come together and basically they are spreading all sorts of rumors and propaganda now people like me say these are the facts Tommy Lee Sparta is now released the CCU said that they did not charge him so therefore after at least six or seven weeks they could not charge him because they did not have any sort of substantiative evidence we are talking about good evidence point blank and period so people like I've always said there are always rumors, propagandas and allegations. However, there was no confirmation, there was no evidence. Even the confidential informant in which the Popo always talk about them have, he had nothing to say about Tamale Sparta. I am speaking about Cray or somebody that is in the line or in the opposition. We are speaking about, we are talking about, we have the uptown and we have the downtown Sparta. They had no evidence linking Tommy Lee Sparta to a conspiracy because if they did, he would have been charged. So people like me say, if they had concrete information, if they had any sort of real evidence, they would have held on to Tommy Lee Sparta because they um, realized that what they was using to hold in the state of emergency, it had expired. So therefore, only thing that they could use to charge him or hold him was a charge and people them could not even do that after six to seven weeks of so people you are telling me that that is not a violation of anyone's civil rights we are speaking about the rights as just a human being we are speaking about they basically stop the man from doing what he does we are speaking about making music and people like me say i am not saying that he did not do we are speaking about any sort of wrong before however the past is the past and if you did not basically charge him back in the past now people remember Tommy Lee sparta left Montego Bay almost a decade now. So therefore, what has he done? What are the charges? What are the allegations that he is doing anything wrong? Because the truth and the fact that them have confidential informant that gave the popo information, forget all sorts of rife, all sorts of gun, all sorts of people arrested and taken out. So therefore, why wouldn't they talk if they had this information? If there was this big beef that is going on between Tommy Lee Sparta and Cray and people like me say, this is the next information that was led or given or spoon fed to the brainwash once again, a next big lie, point blank and period. Some people, the moral of the story is this. It seems like the poor boys listen to all the BS that is circulating all over social media that Tommy Lee Sparta and Cray are do this and I do that and they are responsible, rate, lay, lay, blue, blah, bling. Now, people like you understand this channel. Whenever I speak, I always give evidence. We are talking about voice note, we are talking about video. 
and I introduce a person that is a part of that street life, a part of that Sparta. And he gave evidence and he said clearly without a shadow of a doubt that the real violence producer in all of this was Creman. So people, how is it? Ask yourself the question. How is it that the Popo is always targeting Tamil Sparta four and five times? However, the person that is committing or creating the most crime in other place, we are talking about in a flank as Cree. He is never a person of interest. People, isn't there something fundamentally wrong with that? And people, the truth and the fact is that because Cray has a brother that is a part of law enforcement, that is also a popo. So therefore, it seems as if he is looking out for his own people. So people, the essence of what I am trying to say is this. That is what we call cronyism. That is what we call a conflict of interest. So people think about this. If the Pope or the JCF was serious about crime, would you think that they would have a person that they know is a real problem and they don't arrest him, they don't charge him, they don't have him as a person of interest? People think about what I say. It is facts, point blank and period. Now people, like I've said before, I am not saying that there is not evidence to say that the Sparta gang was creating havoc all over. We are talking about Montego Bay, St. James and specifically in our flankers. I am just saying that there is no riff as it pertains to Tamale, Sparta and Crayman. There might be some sort of riff or some sort of separation because like we said, Tamale, Sparta is now doing some sort of music. He is deeply involved in the entertainment fraternity. So people, I am just saying that if there was some sort of serious rift, like some people would like to have you believe, then therefore Tommy Lee Sparta would have been a DEAD -E man long time because the truth and the fact is that Tommy Lee Sparta has been all over the place, including in the West. We are talking about Montego Bay, we are talking about Westmoreland, we are speaking about Negril performing. As a matter of fact, the only time that he did not perform is if he is blocked by the Popo. So people, the point that I am trying to make is that there are a lot of signs that are out there to make you know that a lot of the stuff that you've been hearing upon social media, it is a big, we are speaking about bare lie point blank and period and the next evidence is the fact that people we saw exactly what happened as it pertains to dancehall artist Rygin King we saw that they tried to take him out we saw that the next person also pick up some can and a lady died in an incident that also included him so people, I am just saying that if any sort of war or any sort of rift is going on, you are going to see people may talk about get slapped away, may talk about get caught up as it pertains to Reagan King. So people, do the math and ask yourself the question. If there was such a big rift as it pertains to Tamale Sparta and Cray, we are talking about downtown and uptown Sparta. Don't you think that Tamale Sparta would have at least, we are talking about pick up some sort of can by now. We are speaking about a war that has basically gone for in excess of 10 years. People do the math, do common sense, have common sense. Now people, when we look at the situation as it pertains to Tommy Lee Sparta and him being released from the big yard, we have to say that he's supposed to basically fear for his life because we saw that the Popo seemed as if they were trying to set him up because they were insinuating that person from the Sparta, we are talking about uptown, downtown Sparta, we are speaking about all of the people that they had in custody, we are giving all sorts of information and we saw that person from the Sparta and all other sorts of gang in Amantigo Bay were dropping like flies. So therefore they were basically insinuating that Tommy Lee Sparta might also be a part of the confidential informant. So therefore when they let him out people are going to look at him, we are speaking about across eye and basically think that he is one of those persons. So therefore he now has to be careful even more than before because people the truth and the facts that this Sparta war has been going on for in excess of a decade and even throughout that we see that Tommy Lee Sparta was never heard, he never pick up any sort of corner, any sort of threat from anybody however things might change now and even as it pertains to the popo i think that the popo is the person or the set of people that tamale sparta needs to fear more than anybody else point blank and period but people like me say it is just my views so just based on what we see transparent lately as it pertains to Tamale Sparta, we can only come to the logical conclusion that the Popo has now joined the ranks of the brainwash because it seems as if they are getting information from social media. It seems as if they are getting information from a source that is not credible, point blank and period. 